you want to maximize your ROI, which is the most important thing we're looking at short-term rental because some of these properties um, carry big overheads. You want to make sure you're doing everything correctly. The first one is having a Mac of property where everything works. And the second is to make sure it's well-equipped. <laughs> Okay, so then let's talk about, um, you know, what you could be doing uh, a, a little bit differently and sort of, you know, what would be a best practice. Uh, clearly, this particular property, and it's funny because my wife just came out and said to you, to, to me, hey, have you seen a hair dryer? And there's actually not a hair dryer anywhere in the property. So she's standing in the room um, with, you know, wet hair, uh, unable to dry her hair, which is probably, uh, you know, frustrating for, you know, a, a a woman, I, I don't, I don't know my hair dries pretty quickly, but the point is, is that this, this place doesn't really have a whole lot. So there's two different things that you can do, uh, to, and, and this is perfectly fine. Like you can provide absolute bare minimum, but what you should be doing is if you're going to do that is to notify, uh, the guest that's coming that you're not really going to provide a whole lot. So, uh, it's probably a little bit on me because I can, you can go into the bookings, um, as a person that's going to rent something and see what amenities they have. So as a host, there are spots that you can check off. Yes, I provide a dryer. Yes, I provide a coffee maker. These are the types of things that I provide. Um, I usually don't look at those things to be honest with you. Um, and I did with this particular property, mainly because it's very, very rare that you ever go to a short-term rental where they don't have a coffee maker, uh, where they don't have a, a, just a dryer. Um, it's kind of actually pretty crazy if you think about it, um, because it is a very basic uh, necessity that you should provide. So I, I don't really look at it. Some of the things that you might want to go look at if you're traveling with kids and you need a crib or something like that. We have a lot of people that actually, even though we list those things, will reach out to us and say, hey, can you tell me about where would my kid take a bath? Is there a tub? Is there a shower? Is there a kid's, you know, tub? Is there, you know, a crib? Is, you know, those types of things. Um, is it a crib versus a pack and play? And, you know, guests definitely want to know or have that distinction. Um, so there is a spot if you are going to have a sort of a, a dumbed down uh, property and there's might be a reason to do that because you don't have to worry about inventory and people take things and things break and you got to replace them. Um, it is important that when someone is booking your property, you have an opportunity as a host to actually put a message up. We put a message up that just says, hey, I want to make sure, you know, there's no parties. You have to park in a certain area and things like that. But I could also put something up that says, hey, just want to let you know um, this property to keep down costs as, as little as possible and offer it, you know, at the price that we are or whatever. Um, we don't provide a, a tremendous amount of amenities. So if you need something like a dryer or a coffee or something like that, please reach out to us and ask us if we just provided or please look at the list more intently to make sure that because we don't provide that thing. There's no way that this guy's operating this and not getting complaints on a regular basis that he doesn't have stuff, um, you know, particularly available. So what do we do in our properties? Um, managing, you know, 200 plus uh, properties, some long-term, some short-term rentals. Um, I can tell you that we provide 100% of everything that you need, plus, 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 plus. I set my properties up which makes a, a tremendous, a huge headache for us. But I set my properties up so that um, somebody can live there and it, it looks it, or operates just like a regular house, household. I have a rice cooker, I have pressure cookers, I have um, a French press, a drip coffee machine, a cure egg, an espresso machine, all the coffee options that are there because I'm a coffee person. I want to make sure they're all available. Um, I have, uh, you know, wine openers and we have chopsticks and like basically anything you can imagine. If I was going to go stay in my property and I just wanted to move from my primary house to another primary house that has everything that you could possibly imagine. Um, little things, kid games uh, for different ages, uh, games for older people. It has all of those things as well, which I think is actually very, very important. And that is probably one of the reasons why we have a you know over 85% occupancy rate in our properties. We're basically booked all the time. People are booking out a year in advance. We have five star reviews. I'm a super host, you know, a few times over is because we're providing all the things that people need. Also, in addition, with anything that goes broken at our particular property, we replace it almost immediately. And if there was something that was damaged in our property and we knew about it and a guest was coming, we would notify that person ahead of time. And I usually provide them a credit. So we've had some situations before where we had, um, you know, I don't know, we had you know, a piece of our deck, for example, some of the boards are loose. And I would say, don't, hey, just want to let you know the previous guest noticed that some of the boards were actually loose. 
Um, we're actually going to have someone coming out this afternoon and just sort of an inconvenience, you know, we're going to give you a hundred bucks. Uh, we had a storm in one of our properties and a tree kind of fell, not a large tree, pretty small dinky tree fell on top of the house. I had someone come out and cut that tree down just to get it off the roof. Um, again, no damage to the property, anything like that. Very small, you know, one inch tree or something like that, but it looked ugly. I reached out to the guests and said, Hey, just to let you know, we're going to have someone out there. They're going to cut down a tree. It's going to be an inconvenience because, you know, the chainsaws and stuff like that. We're going to give you a credit. I apologize. It's an apology. So we do those types of things and that sets the tone for a great customer experience. So uh, if I can recap, uh, I'm going to make this too much of a long video, but the point is, is one, if you're going to do short-term rentals, do short-term rentals all the way, provide all the things, at least at a minimum, provide the basics. Um, if you are going to provide, uh, you know, services like a short-term rental, you should be providing what's called a starter pack. Um, at a minimum, if you're not going to provide like toilet paper and extra towels and a storage closet, like we do with all this extra product uh, for like, basically if they stayed there for a month, um, you should be at least providing them, you know, a couple rolls of toilet paper, some shampoo, conditioner, you know, if you have a washer and dryer, maybe three or four pods or something to put in there, a little bit of soap, um, you know, a couple of dryer seats, just enough to kind of get them going for like a day or two. And then after that, of course, they need to go in. Uh, there is, again, downsides to it. Um, we've had people that have stolen whole boxes of soap before. We've had people steal all of our toilet paper and stuff like that. We've had it happen before. But what we do to combat that, it's very easy, just like any business owner, we just add it in the price. So we figure about 20 bucks in any kind of booking is for just supplies. We actually figure in about 20 to 20 bucks uh, for just things that are gonna break, classes, things like that. So when things happen, it's, it's happened, we never worry about it, we just gonna keep moving. So just wanna show this, not a knock to this host. Um, I probably won't post this uh, for a while just to kind of separate, separate myself from when I stayed here. No criticism. It's a little bit on me. I should check the listing, uh, but the host could have provided a little bit more. Certainly the mold's not a great thing in the, in the wall. They could have, you know, cleaned that up. They may not even know about it. Not a big deal. I'm not a very picky person, but if you want to maximize your ROI, which is the most important thing we're looking at short term rental, because some of these properties, um, carry big overheads, you want to make sure you're doing everything correctly. The first one is having a Mac of the property where everything works. And the second is to make sure it's well equipped so your guests are um, happy and satisfied and comfortable when they arrive.